Um, wow, he, he picked a card before I could even like see what the <laughs> options were. Oh, so so the average run on Slow's Fire takes like if if you win, it's it's approaches an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Anthony Giovanetti. Uh, and I'm Casey Yano. And we're the Slay the Spire developers. Yep. And we are doing a video called Developers React to the Slay Speedrun. Slay the Spire Speedrun, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, so he's going really, really fast. Oh my gosh, um, this is super fast, isn't it? Yeah, so so one thing I do <laughs> know is that the speedrunners always start with Niao's uh, lament up there to make the first three enemies. Yeah, you can just, it's pretty much like a free fight. Instantly. Yeah, just just to like super quickly ramp it up. Um, wow, he, he picked a card before I could even like see what the <laughs> options were. So that's, do you that's do great. you know if this run is seated? So so in our game, you can just set a seed in the very beginning, and if you do that, then the outcome of what you see in the game is identical every single time. And so in that case, it's like clicking the numbers and stuff at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I think I think. When people do speedruns, they don't seed it. Oh, interesting. So there's like a separate category for that. Okay, so it's kind of um, like Splunky, right? Then. Yeah. However, so you notice that it's Slime Boss here. What I do know is that within the speedrun community, they consider it okay to set up the unlock file mm -hmm. so that you will always fight the Slime Boss. Because one thing that we do is that while normally the seed would it would impact the randomness in the game to determine what boss you fight first. We do a thing where the first time you fight the Act 1 boss, it's always the the Guardian. And then I think it's the second time it's always the Slime boss. And so they make it so that the first time they fought the Guardian, that uh, way they I can see. guarantee to get the Slime boss. Yes. Just because it's the fastest. Yeah, so. the Guardian is like, it just teases faces, so it takes it quite a while. Yeah, and the, and the Hexa goes. It's very slow as well, so. Um. Oh, you can see a little trick there with the rest site. Right after you rest, if you use the hotkeys, you can kind of like skip the animation and go to the next screen. Yeah. <laughs> While I'm talking and about it, he already did it twice. <laughs> yeah, and, and you can see how Whirlwind is like being the MVP of, of these runs where like I'm sure he really wanted to see Whirlwind there with the flex so you could just plow through the combat. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah, I think it's really interesting that roguelikes are played as speedruns sometimes because like you want like the cards to okay, literally the cards to align, <laughs> right? And this is like yeah. a viable strategy. But if you always try to go for like a flex whirlwind strategy, like you're not going to win because there's a very high mm -hmm. chance that you might not see those cards. But seeing as this is a speed run, you know, you can just go for it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so use the artifact potion, comboed with flex to get permanent strength. <laughs> just he's just spamming all the potions. He doesn't even. <laughs> Wow. All right. Down the collector in seconds. Whoa. What version of this is? This is the early it's... access November build. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. I wonder if they're allowed to use any any. Pa it says current patch, so it must have been um must have been quite a while when this happened. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if there's any exploits so. that happen in this patch versus the current patch. There are a few fixes, although we don't try to fix like you know speed like speed run friendly bugs because <laughs> because those bugs are pretty rare anyway right like why are we why would we be fixing those yeah oh he wasn't happy about that one no what's going on oh this guy's fun oh he has such offensive relics too looks like he yeah uh, I... <laughs> philosopher's stone and brimstone it's, uh... yeah brimstone's really good with whirlwind just Lots of strength. Oh, getting rid of a strike there is good. Yeah. Ooh, this enemy has a ton of HP. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if like Raptomancer is the ideal enemy to see there because your whirlwind just slams through the daggers or yeah. what? This run could have gone even better. I think it's just it's just amazing the speed at which he plays the cards. Like I can't even <laughs> process the hand before. I don't know why he's not pressing hotkeys to play cards. You can see the mouse go down sometimes, but I could be wrong, right? Oh no, he just looks at them. Maybe. Do you think he's playing the cards like tr click and drag? I'm not sure. This is very interesting. I just expected it, you know. Mm -hmm. 
crazy. Yeah, he's playing them. Wow. So, so the average run on Slow's Fire takes like, if if you win, it's it's approaches an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and our game is really speedrun friendly, I think, um, because like going as fast as you can doesn't really give you any kind of advantage, and so like we do have a we do like a we have like a what's it called a fast wow. move option. Oh, but oh, it's so fast. Five. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we should make an achievement called less than five minutes just to torment everybody. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Was that a, is that an alarm? Yeah. That was the alarm because the speedrunner beat it new world record, and so our you know we're always uploading data, so obviously at the time. <laughs> oh, actually, it was exactly five minutes in the game clock, which is uh, what I think counts. Yeah, not, the game clock. The big thing. <laughs> the game clock is not perfect. But, but um, I think. I'm not sure. It's close enough. Wow. Yeah. If it was, if it was, was the Reptomancer, I could have saved, like... That combat was pretty long. <laughs> I like how he just discards this, this map on there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need this. <laughs> you already finished the game, you can't just... <laughs> that is really good. Yeah, I guess. Um, it, but it's they go so quick uh, that it's actually hard to actually comment on anything. <laughs> this is, this uh, is a very interesting yeah. speedrun. Ho hopefully, you guys had fun. Yeah, we can't really comment on like optimal player. play because it's a roguelike game. I I think there was definitely non-optimal plays. I think we saw that, but like, and I I, I think the big thing is like knowing when to not play cards because you'd rather just like wait for the whirlwind to come up and end the fight anyway combined yeah. with flex and stuff yeah. like that it definitely took like, like gamish to the face just to be like i just want my one card right like you can see mm -hmm. he only has 12 hp at the very end this is very interesting yeah that brimstone was mvp that's like a sure. new relic too it's like shiny well i mean at the time yeah oh, good path though i think Definitely, like, if you want to optimize speed, you just go straight for events, and then hope you don't get the matching card event, which takes quite a while. Cool, well, thank you. thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, I mean, the video's a bit longer, but I mean, the speedrunner is commenting on what happened, so I'll probably just leave you to it then. Yeah, Antiflame did a good job here. Okay, alright. I guess that's uh, the end of this video. It's very exciting for us, too. It's more entertaining than I thought, and I've seen a bunch of them. <laughs>